Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 and another part of this experiment where we're taking a look at what would happen if you had the perfect goalkeeper in Football Manager 2020. Now there were a couple of comments that did point out that having high eccentricity and possibly the tendency to punch may actually not be the best traits for the perfect goalkeeper but I think having an eccentric goalkeeper will make it a little bit more fun so we are going to leave that in there at the highest possible rating it's it's worth having one little flaw even if you are supposed to be perfect um so when we left off left off last time he was still at Kaiserslautern he'd been there now for 5 years uh, having played in the third division getting them promoted twice up into the Bundesliga he has not won an awful lot yet. Um, he did win the third division, got promoted, runner-up in the World Cup final with Germany, and then third place in the Nations League. So he's not won a major trophy at this point, but already achieving great things with 50 caps for Germany. So what we're going to do today is go five years ahead, and then we'll go another five years ahead. So 10 years in total. I'll do it in two chunks so you can get a little bit more detail without things dropping off a little bit. Uh, it also makes it easier to see where they finished in the league table without having to jump 10 years through. Um, so that's pretty much what we're going to do today. Do drop a like on the video if you're enjoying these experiments. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, there'll be a new experiment out in a couple of days as well. We might do one more part of this experiment to get him to the end of his career. Um, but let's jump ahead five years in time and see if he's still at Kaiserslautern. Well, we are now five years ahead. We'll quickly run through their uh, season. Uh, you can see not too great, a little bit patchy through the year. No real success in any of the cup competitions. And that season, they do end up finishing in ninth place. They concede just 38 goals, though, which when you look at the teams above them, it's actually the best record in the league, which shows the impact that having the perfect goalkeeper has had. It's not enough to get them up into the European places, though. The following year, uh, much better start to the season. A lot more clean sheets appearing through. They make it to the third round of the German Cup. Um, and overall in the league, a very good performance as they managed to finish in sixth place. Just one point off fifth as well. Not too far off the Champions League places. But it means some European football for Kaiser Giancaldo for the first time. And their Europa League campaign goes pretty well. They're getting a, quite a few wins in there. Two defeats in their group stage. Their league form pretty good as well. In the knockout stages, they play Anderlecht. They win 2-0, then draw 1-1, but are knocked out by Roma 2-0 on aggregate, so they do not make it into the quarterfinals. And looking at the league table, you can see they actually dropped down to 13th with the problems of having to play European football. So that really having a big impact on the team. The following year, with no European football, they do much better. Uh, a lot more clean sheets appearing in there. Uh, out in the third round of the German Cup and a poor finish to the season. Uh, and if we have a look, you can see they end up finishing in ninth place this time. Uh, so they're just a bit of a mid-table team. There's not an awful lot of success going on. Uh, the following year, a much better performance at the start of the season, which they keep going through into the semi-finals of the German Cup here. Kaiser Cenkeldo scoring in the penalty shootout and saving the first two penalties. In the semi-final, they go through against Wolfsburg. The last three rounds, they've gone through without scoring and on penalties after keeping a clean sheet. And again, Kaiser Giancaldo saves the first two, scores the final one. And in the German Cup, they do manage to win it against Freiburg. 3-1 the victory for them. Kaiser Giancaldo with a 7.8 rating, showing how good he is for the team and he wins his first major trophy with Kaiserslautern which has to be worth something and if we go forward to the most recent season you can see they also finish in fourth place qualifying for the Champions League so he is still at the club at this point uh, if we have a look at their senior squad here um, I don't know why that's not sorted by keepers but you can see here 56 million pound valuation He's now got 115 caps for Germany as well. Um, we'll have a look at his milestones after we've looked at the national team. But you can see from his uh, statistics here, he's keeping a few more clean sheets now. 13, 13, 9 and 8, not brilliant. But his average rating, well above where you would expect it to be uh, for a goalkeeper. Just 34 goals conceded in 34 appearances in the league this season. So he is doing a brilliant job uh, for Kaiserslautern. If we have a look... At the senior squad for 
Germany and their schedule. You can see in the European Championship, a good little run through to the quarterfinals, but they lost on penalties. He did manage to save a couple, but unfortunately they couldn't keep scoring. And they have missed out. He did score in the shootout there. Uh, so the following year, uh, they made it to the Nations League semi-final, but couldn't beat France, uh, so they had to settle for third place. And then a 5-0 win over Japan in the World Cup, 8-0 over New Zealand, 3-1 over Ukraine. They do beat France 2-1, but then go out to Italy 4-1. Pellegri getting four goals in a World Cup quarterfinal. The following year, just qualification. And then in the European Championship, they do make it out their group. They beat Norway in the quarterfinal, but then lose to Italy again in the semi-final. A 90th minute goal, knocking Germany out. And then in the Nations League, they do beat Portugal 2-1, but against France in the final, they lose 2-1. So they are not having the best success rate in uh, the competitions. They're getting quite far through a few of them, but they're just not doing enough to lift the trophy. So it remains the case that he has not won a major competition with Germany at this point. Um, and just the one trophy with uh, Kaiserslautern as well. So if we look at his landmarks here, you can see it's still pretty sparse at this point just that one major trophy the German Cup his awards though absolutely loads of these we won't look at them because there's lots of team team of the weeks in there competitions with Germany you can see runner-up now in the Nations League uh, to add to his runner-up in the World Cup final uh, no transfers other stuff was named the Germany captain last year so he is the captain of his country at this point it's taken quite a while to get there um, but he's broken a few records along the way. And you can see a very short biography at the moment. So I'm not going to force him to move team. His contract does end at the end of ne next season. Which will be interesting to see how that works out. But let's go five more years ahead. And see if he's still at Kaiserslautern. Well we're five years further ahead. And as you can see. Kaiser Jankaldo has left Kaiserslautern. He moved to Barcelona. Uh, if we have a look at the transfer history, a £65 million signing with one year left on his contract. A big outlay, but for a keeper of this quality, absolutely value for money. I don't know why I can't click that Barcelona link. There we go. Uh, and if we have a look at his time at Barcelona, he had no more time at Kaiserslautern. He just moved straight to La Liga. And look at this for an impact. Uh, coming in, keeping perfect record in goal. All these clean sheets in a row as well. He was always going to do well when he got to a team like this. Uh, Champions League going very well. A huge winning streak here as they do win the Supercoppa against Real Madrid. 3-0, keeping that clean sheet. Uh, going through the cup competitions quite nicely. PSG in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Easy win, 3-0 in aggregate. 2-0 uh, in the Copa del Rey final. Um, you can see they do win the Copa del Rey 3-0 as well. Through in the Champions League quarterfinals against Monaco. Uh, lose to Chelsea in the first leg away from home. And then in the return leg, a nice 2-0 win for them. And then in the final of the Champions League, a good 2-1 victory. So they have won the Ch Champions League, the Copa del Rey, the Super Copa. And in La Liga for that season, if we have a look at the stages here. And drop back to this first season. You can see they do finish 20 points clear of Real Madrid. So they win everything in his first season at the club. Losing only one game to Villarreal 3-2. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, but only 19 goals conceded and 102 were scored. So he has had an enormous impact on the Barcelona side. The following year, an easy 4-1 win. Despite having a man sent off in two minutes, they also scored three minutes later. Uh, means they win the Super Cup. They're not going to go unbeaten in the league, though, after a 3-1 defeat to Valencia. They win another Supercopa with Real Madrid and then Atletico Madrid dispatched. Huge winning run here. Through into the Copa del Rey final. Uh, through in the Champions League quarterfinals with a 5-2 victory over Man City. They win the Copa del Rey as well against Sevilla. Um, and then Champions League easy passage past Chelsea again into the final. And they win back-to-back -back Champions League finals. 2-0 victory over Real Madrid. I'm not sure where the Club World Cup's gone. I guess that'll be the following year. Or unless it's completely stopped. I don't know why it would have stopped. But 
No Club World Cup, but they have won everything, including the UEFA Super Cup this season. So another year where they've done absolutely everything. Winning the title again, just 17 goals conceded this time. 105 points for the second year in a row. Nobody can stop this Barcelona team. The following year, 11-0 in a Diaz testimonial. Uh, but you can see a 4-1 victory in the Super Cup. Unbeaten in every competition as they win the Super Cup of final. I mean, they haven't lost even in pre-season at this point. And then they lose to Sevilla 2-0 in February. What an unbeaten run that was. Um, through to the Copa del Rey final, still going in the Champions League. Quarterfinals, they get through 2-1 on aggregate against Liverpool. A little bit tight. 3-0 defeat to Milan away from home. Huge upset. But then they turn it round with a 4-0 win in the home game with 10 men as well. 88th minute winner. Season through, but they do lose in the final to Borussia Dortmund. So a few uh, a few games where they've been exposed, but they keep getting men sent off in the first five minutes. What is that about? Champions League final, and you sent off after four minutes. Uh, but if we look at the league table, again, one defeat. They just can't get this perfect season. Only 103 points this season, and Real Madrid nearly caught them as well. Three points settling the title in the, Bundes in the uh, La Liga. The following year... They're looking to do this unbeaten season once more. It's a perfect record. Look at that. Just that draw with Deportivo La Coruña. They do lose the Supercopa semi-final to Real Madrid, though, so they're not going to win everything this year. Uh, but their league form still unbeaten as they go into the Champions League knockout stages. They get past into Milan despite losing the first leg there. Uh, they do win the Copa del Rey 4-2 against Real Madrid. They're into the Champions League final, another semi-final against Chelsea. Unbeaten in the league as well, but they've lost the Champions League final 2-1. A little bit unfortunate there, but they do win the FIFA Club World Cup. A uh, 4-0 victory there, so not quite the perfect record. But in La Liga, they have gone unbeaten finally 110 points 36 wins two draws 19 goals conceded the perfect season uh nearly for the perfect player he gets that unbeaten record sensational stuff won everything with barcelona at this point and then into the final season they're looking to go unbeaten in everything but they lose to wolfsburg can they win everything though what did they win early on uh nothing early on they do win the super cup 2-1 against real madrid Going through in all the competitions, defeat in La Liga. Uh, but they do win the Champions League for another year, 2-1. Uh, and they also win the Copa del Rey. And they win the league. So a pretty nice season all in all as they finish well clear of Real Madrid. 21 goals conceded, but 111 scored, just one defeat. They've only lost four times in the league in their five years with Kaiser Giancaldo at the club. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, if we have a look... At Kaiser Jen Caldo. Uh, is he here? Yeah, there he is. Top clean sheet uh, record. And then you can see this is his statistical page. 22 clean sheets, 25, 19, 19. He's not scored yet, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. He hasn't been given a free kick or a penalty to take. But if we look at his milestones and look at these landmarks, suddenly there are a lot more victories on there. We should look at Germany first, actually, before we look at that to see if he does win the World Cup with them. We just dropped back to where we left off before. Just some qualifiers. Then in the World Cup, out in the quarterfinal to Brazil, a 2-0 defeat. So the heartbreak goes on for Germany. The following year, they do win the Nations League final 3-2 against Portugal. Um, all the goals coming in the first half for them. The following year, out in the semi-final to Holland after getting past Portugal on penalties. Uh, again, scoring in that shootout past Belgium, but out to Holland the following year, they win another Nations League on penalty, two penalty shootouts there. He scores in both, makes some saves, and helps them win another trophy. And now they're into another World Cup, where they're hoping that they will be able to win it with Kaiser Giancaldo in the team. He's now 33, won't be playing for Germany forever. He needs to win this World Cup now if he can. So back to the milestones. You can see when we left off before with Kaiser Salton, there wasn't an awful lot in there. But now he's got all these competitions, including three Champions League titles to his name and a couple of competition wins with Germany, the Nations League, personal awards, huge amounts of them. We'll come back to that. Um, lots of competitions, transfer, 52, rising to 65 million. And in terms of his other, Kaiser Salton's record sale, named Barca captain two years later, most clean sheets with 35 most clean sheets in the Nations League as well. 
And there's his biography. So personal awards, you can see La Liga Player of the Year, runner-up, uh, best men's goalkeeper five times. Who else has been beating him to that? Well, he's only ever won it with Barcelona, which shows how much of an influence that big club mentality has on the competitions. Spanish League Player of the Year, uh, First Division Goalkeeper of the Year, Champions League Goalkeeper of the Season five times, and FIFA Best Men's Player third place. So he's not won it yet. Let's see where it... There he is. This is the year when he finished third in the Ballon d'Or, the best player, not the Ballon d'Or, but the best player. Uh, third place. I've never had a goalkeeper appear on that list before. So that shows how much of an impact he's had at Barcelona. Now, if we just have a look at his profile, you can see his contract is going to end at the end of this season. I have set it to expire. Uh, PSG have put in a bid for him, so we'll see if he ends up at PSG. I'm sure he will. Um, and so in the next part, I'll let him join PSG if that's where he ends up. I will then cancel his contract or not cancel it, but let it run out and see if he goes to another team uh, before the end of his career. But if you have enjoyed this part of this experiment, do drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, see ya.